Hi everyone, I am Katie. I'm an assistant naturalist here at North Park's Latotomy Nature Center. And today we are exploring Parish Hill on Walter Road. So this is a really cool historic site with a lot of interesting features like the church right behind me. And then after that, we're gonna head right on across the street to the Orange Trail. We're gonna talk a bit about the forest. So if you're ready, you can join me for this hike today. So one of the cool historic sites on this side of the park is St. Paul's Church right behind me. So this church was actually across the street originally back in 1855 when it was built for a whopping $300. That was its original location, but it did move here in 1870 and it has stood here ever since. So my favorite thing about this church is actually the graveyard. So the tombstones here have some pretty interesting names that you may recognize, like the Walters and the Coomers. And you probably recognize that name because of the road names around here. So the road that St. Paul's Church is off of is Walter Road. And you probably also recognize Coomer Road from in North Park and the surrounding area. So it's interesting to think about, but North Park was originally all farmland. And some of those families like the Walters and the Coomers own the farmland that eventually became North Park. So if you're walking through this graveyard, you can check out these super cool old tombstones, see how far they date back, and see how many of those names that you recognize. Another interesting site along Parish Hill is actually this concrete slab that I'm standing on top of right now. So if you've hiked this area, you may have noticed this or probably just walked past without even seeing it. But the interesting thing about this is this actually used to be where the old police station was. So they chose this location for the police station because it was one of the highest elevation points in the surrounding area. And they needed that because they really didn't have any better way to communicate other than the flagpole. So to communicate with other officers and with people in the surrounding community, they would actually fly flags on that flagpole and that way people all around could see them. So after this was a police station, it eventually became an electrician's office, which unfortunately burned down a couple years ago. But what's pretty cool is you can see evidence of that fire by checking out these telephone poles right behind me. You may notice some char marks on them, which is pretty wild. My favorite location here at Parish Hill is the schoolhouse shelter right behind me. So this shelter is absolutely stunning and it is called the schoolhouse shelter because it actually was an old schoolhouse. So remember how I said this area used to be all farms? Well, those farmers had kids and they had to go to school somewhere. So there weren't that many of them. So they actually all squeezed into this little schoolhouse right there. So the building was built in the 1800s and closed in 1927 when Allegheny County took over the property and they converted it to a shelter. Shelter. But the cool thing is that there's actually some original parts of the schoolhouse still intact, like all of that amazing brickwork. So you could totally come here with your family, rent this shelter for an awesome picnic, and really nothing beats that view. You can see all the way across the lake to the other side, and you can even see the star of red pine trees. Did you know there is a star of red pine trees here in North Park? Not many people do. So those red pines that are planted in the shape of a star were actually planted by the Work Progress Administration. So the Work Progress Administration was one branch of President Roosevelt's New Deal. So after the Great Depression, President Roosevelt created the New Deal to help combat some of the high rates of unemployment that were seen throughout the country. So a branch of that program was the Civilian Conservation Corps, which was created for younger people, and then the Work Progress Administration, which was created for older people. And we can really thank those groups for doing a lot of awesome work throughout our county park and many of the other parks that we see throughout the United States. And one of the things that the Work Progress Administration decided to do was to plant red pine trees in the shape of a star. So, of course, you cannot see that star unless you are looking from a satellite or looking from a helicopter. So I highly suggest that you get onto Google Earth and check out that section of the park from satellite imagery. So unfortunately, those red pines are beginning to fail. But if you go back in time, you can see that really well-defined star shape. And I just think that's a really cool feature that we have here at North Park. So 
So we have entered our orange trail. We are into the woods, but we are not yet done talking about history. So one of the things that you may come across when you're hiking through the middle of the forest is daffodils and periwinkle. And if you aren't familiar with them, you think, hey, those are beautiful wildflowers and just keep on going without a second thought. But people that are familiar may know that these are non-native plants. So when you come across things like this, it's actually a pretty good indication that you have discovered an old homestead. So when we're looking for historical homesteads, we're often looking for old fireplaces or foundations, but we don't usually think about the plants. So early settlers, when they moved to the United States, brought plants like daffodil and periwinkle because it reminded them of their homes. So when you are in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden you see plants like this, it's a pretty good chance you have just stumbled across an old homestead. What is this green stuff covering my tree? I get that question all the time from park patrons that are really concerned that this green stuff all over their tree is killing their tree or is a sign of that tree's decline. Well, I am here to tell you that that green stuff is totally fine. It is something called lichen. And it's actually a symbiotic relationship between algae and fungus. So lichen is really cool because it is a non-vascular plant, which means it does not have a root system. So because of that, it can pretty much grow anywhere and it loves to grow on places like tree trunks or rocks or park benches because there's really nothing else growing on there. So it doesn't have a lot of competition. So I know you're thinking, well, if this plant doesn't have roots, then is it taking its nutrients from my tree? No, it is not. That plant is actually getting its nutrients from the air mostly. So that's really good for us because lichen help absorb carbon dioxide, removing it from the atmosphere, which is great because we know carbon dioxide to be a powerful greenhouse gas, but lichen is also awesome at filtering out bad pollutants like heavy metals and even sulfur from our atmosphere, meaning that it's actually making your air healthier. So the amazing thing is that scientists can actually sample lichen and extract heavy metals and other pollutants that are in it to help measure air quality of an area. Isn't that totally fascinating? So if you have lichen on your tree, it's totally fine. It's actually helping improve your air quality and it's a great food source for things like deer and hummingbirds actually use it for their nesting material. So no worries, lichen is not harming your tree at all. We like lichen. If you're walking through the forest here in North Park and look through the distance, you may notice that it's actually quite easy to see from one side of the forest to the other. Well, that shouldn't be the case in Pennsylvania and in a forest ecosystem. Our forests are supposed to have an understory, which is basically just tons of different levels of growth. But when you're looking through the forest here, the only thing obstructing your vision are the trees that have reached the top of the canopy. So what's going on? Why don't we have have an understory here in North Park? Well, one of the big answers to that question is white-tailed deer. So unfortunately, we have a large overabundance of white-tailed deer here in North Park and throughout Pennsylvania. And white-tailed deer are large mammals that are mainly herbivorous. So they have to eat a lot to maintain their body weight. And their favorite thing to eat are tree saplings and wildflowers, which would usually take up the understory of this area. So the fact that there's so many deer and they're eating our understory is why it looks like this. That's one reason. But you'll also notice that there are some plants here on the understory and they all look about the same. You are seeing things like Japanese barberry and garlic mustard. So this is another problem that we are seeing here in North Park. Because of our surrounding suburban landscape, we have a lot of home developments, which often landscape with plants like Japanese barberry. People like it because it is deer resistant and because it has a pretty color in the fall. But the reason that it's deer resistant is because it's from another country and deer do not recognize it, so therefore they do not eat it. So what ends up happening, the deer come into the forest, they eat all the native plants that should be in the understory and leave behind stuff like barberry so it quickly takes over. The other crazy thing about barberry and garlic mustard is that they are known as allelopathic, which means that they actually secrete chemicals from their root system, which inhibits the growth of anything else on the forest floor. So once something like barberry gets established in the forest, it's pretty hard to get rid of it and it's pretty hard to get anything else to grow. So this is a really depressing story. What can you do about it? 
Well, the number one thing that you can do is to plant native plants, to landscape your yard with plants that are from Pennsylvania. You are extremely lucky to live in a gorgeous state like Pennsylvania, where we have an abundance of variety of different plants. So I'm sure you could find something that is just as great and that won't creep into the forests, into your parks and destroy the understory. end our hike today right in front of this gigantic old white oak tree. Isn't this thing incredible? This white oak behind me is clearly a mammoth in comparison to the other trees here in this section of the forest. So when I was talking about how North Park used to all be farmland, well of course farmland has no trees. So you can kind of tell just by looking across the forest and seeing that the trees are all about the same size and all around the same age. But then you'll come across something like this that is clearly much bigger and much older. Well us naturalists here at the park estimated this tree age and think that it is about 275 years old, which is absolutely fascinating when you think about the fact that this thing was just a tiny little sapling back during the French and Indian War and has been living through so much history throughout the United States. So the amazing thing about white oaks is that they will continue to stand for years and years after they die. So that's why they're awesome for the forest because standing wood is perfect homes for things like woodpeckers and owls and rack coons and squirrels, anything that really needs shelter can totally refer to a big old oak just like this. So if you come across a tree like this in North Park, it's a good chance that it was on a farm field at some time. So maybe that farmer used it as a boundary tree, or maybe they just thought it was as gorgeous as we think it is and they wanted to have it stick around for a real long time. I hope you guys had some fun today and learned a little something about this section of North Park. You should totally come on out and hike this section of the Orange Trail or discover parts of Parish Hill and see if you notice some of the things that I pointed out. But thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.